Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back to Vigor, a town that I actually do like at this point. Um, when we look at the elevation up there, um, definitely definitely going to have a landmark up here that you can see then from the whole city. I think this is really nice looking. And yeah, that's a beautiful town already. Um, yeah, well, not really industrial town at the moment and we are going to make it into a beautiful town right now though i want to focus uh, a bit on other things on global diplomacy and that is sean le Fetun. we're at ceasefire with him within that for another three minutes right and i really don't like to to go to war with him anymore so what we can try here is a peace treaty a medium high chance it will be expensive probably a million 1.5 million something like that so for that reason i already have a ship over here selling me some steam motors again and some weapons this brings me to 1.25 million um and with that i'm I, I would really like to try it out now a peace treaty 1.1 million perfect we even have a bit of money left then and yeah with that hooray ceasefire or not only ceasefire but peace with the pirate sean de Fetun. This is great for us because, of course, a peace is not going to, 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 to be broken that easily anymore. But, of course, he will still demand some money from time to time now. Um, so, we need to make sure that we always have Ceasefire cash at hand. 160,000 is not a lot. So, in that case, we need to get this up quickly. Uh, we have 10,000 on the balance for now per minute. That's great, right? Um, but I think with all the upgrades, we probably will need to boost one of my productions here again soon. Even though most of it is looking rather well. Uh, let's go back to the new world there as well. Because in the new world we have finished the oil production number 2 in the last episode. So the trains are going crazy already. Getting things done. And this oil is getting right to Vega of course. We have Crustacea here already active. Or waiting. And we're going to make it now active. Oreo to Vega. Let's make sure that we have a proper waypoint system here. Perfect. Getting the oil in. And outbound, it's fine, right? And we're going to unload that. And Crustacea, off you go. I don't know why it's called Crustacea 2. We don't have a Crustacea 1, do we? Any ship might be called that way. Hi. This coffee here, I think, can also be reactivated. No, it can't. We don't have enough coffee here. There's just oh, one leaving the port again, right? So I need to wait there to even, even it out a bit. And there's 300 whopping tons of oil <laughs> getting over there. Let's just check it out. We are, yeah, we continue to go down here, greatly decreasing with 8. And we have a production, I think, greatly increasing with 32. So there is a nice surplus of oil now coming in. I can prepare with that the next oil, oil power plant, number 3, that I would like to have most likely here. Because this will then affect the whole core city, right? All the way up to this a point here. Island is under siege. That's fine. Oh, Ivy Gate is under siege. That's a Sans Island. I Leo. Leo, you dashing scoundrel. What are you trying there? By the look of it, Leo has steam cruises, right? The battle cruises. Because I don't see any cannon fire. I just see the explosion city. here. That usually means there must be a cannon or something like that being used. Now we've a taste of Unfortunately, I can't see anything over there. I still don't have really any white flag now opportunity. For choosing Nothing I can do about that. But of course, Leo, he has no island, I think, right now in the new world. And of course, he's trying to, to do something the there. Has ended. Oh yeah, and now he's, he's got other problems there again as well. But yeah, let's prepare everything for the next power plant. Um, for that, we are going to use uh, this area here. And I definitely want to hide it a bit. So we're going to make it so that we don't that we don't see this from the corner really. Um there's one. I need a home for one engineer. Let's move that worker. There you go. And then we have enough space here for another power plant that I will add like this. Let's make the connection here and then we can have some trees around that, what not. And once again. Hmm, where should we where should we take this one? I think here we're going to make a bridge, right? That goes to that side. And then it goes into my, my triple road again. Ship under attack. We definitely want to use those triple roads here. New orders? Uh what? 
Ah, there is ba the mess Miss Hunt with a battle cruiser. Oh goodness, we need to hurry up there with my shipbuilding. I'm working on that. We need money first because advanced weapons are very expensive. Uh, she's got she's got battle cruisers already. Right, I think this, and then here we make the crossing. Here the bridge. Perfect. This is what I like to see. And then here the connection with my main port again. We can make some crossings here again, of course. The same goes with this area. Ah, that's fine actually. Like this, we should do it. Workforce shortage. Very good. And yep, let's build it. No reason why we should delay that. The oil is coming in anyway. There you go. And I think also, yeah, ladies and gents, I think it's time to go for investors. Shall we do this? We shall do this. It will solve my influence problem there at least. Let's go ahead. And yeah, we are creating some smaller investor centers right now with this one here being the first one. Age of big business has started. Get a whopping of... <laughs> 16 influence just out of these here and of course they're going to pay us nicely there also advanced weapon production has now been unlocked i think no it should have been I unlocked have already right to have high expectations and a few more upgrades down the road as well and let's also add their skin to something more industrial looking withstood an attack and what we also will need is more reinforced concrete so i will now also go ahead with building those two remaining concrete factories we can afford yeah. this upgrade that one and at least 28 the influence is great for us ruins behind that means a few more ships and a few also more defenses crying. i will also like to go with I another cargo ship service. as we're getting a bit, a, a bit low on that those investors right now, uh, there's some cigars in, so they like, like that a lot, even though that's not going to be permanent. Now we have to have, have our, the penny far thing demand, that is 70 coin per building. With the wonder, engineers, it was only 28, overlooked. right? So the investors pay a lot more for bicycles. And we should provide, of course. This is one of my next targets that we have then right away. We still have a few more workers. Let's go ahead and upgrade more here. Towards the banks and... Also on the other side. Oh, I don't have that many materials anymore. We're down on timber then. Okay, so with uh, the additional upgrades to workers to artisans, we don't need that many workloads anymore. My total consumption is at 15, meaning 300 per cycle. Right now we are importing 450. I could even lower this to 40 and we would be totally fine with the workloads, right? We're also capped on it. So that means I don't need that production up here anymore at all. We do have some sail makers here still, so I would like to, to keep at least yeah, two sheep farms with two sail makers, but the majority of it can really go away now. And I would like to do this, so there you go. This will of course save me also more farmers again, but yeah, the more important thing is that it will open up more space for us. All of them we can get rid of. We still have those sail makers, let's actually keep those two together with two sheep farms. I'm going to move them just over here, far away from everything. Mm, or I might actually put them into into my piggy area. I think we could do it like that. Yeah, let's actually get them. Let's actually get them over here, right? Because I think base-wise, oh, this is tight. And it should still be fine, really. One sheep farm here, and the other one we could have then right over here. This is working out. Oops. Nope. Very good. So this one still has 100% efficiency. Perfect. And then I can just have my two sail makers also somewhere over here. A bit further away, right? We don't need that many sails anymore anyway. And with that, let's get rid of that. And let's get rid of the whole road system here. Goodbye. We have a lot of warehouses. I don't really need them. They're also cheap to rebuild again. So it's just costing me some timber. So it, there is no use really in just keeping them alive for the sake of, uh, sake of it. One fire station I will keep to have it somewhere over here. And then I've got those solitary poor workers. Let's move them a bit closer there to the city itself. Fine. I mean, look at that. That is a lot of space for us, right? And of course, what we're doing with a lot of space, we're plastering buildings on them. And I would like to do this as well. Let's actually just make sure that we do have... Um, yeah, let's have a triple road here, right? 
for the for the heck of it and oops, not destroy them and then we have that and we can have a beautiful big next block of buildings here that we can add um timber we have plenty of so i can really just go ahead and build it Yeah, we definitely will also need another marketplace with a pub and some over there. But I think we can still get us another block of houses in here. Actually, let's make them here. Right, and then we can have them. So that this whole block profits from that. And we definitely also want to have a school then somewhere here as, uh, as well. These guys. And we're actually running out of timber, but that is fine. Let's have behind that school just a little park then at some point. Revolt, we don't need to build everything ruins. here. And then we can just have some high density blocks. Well, this area. And then also here towards then our yeah, tourist port. Yeah, just perfect, really. And with that, we can, yeah, I think build them all at once. 106 tons. We have 150 tons. Off it goes. More farmers. Means more workers. Means more artisans. More engineers. More investors. More money. And more power. Still baffling to me. We have not even reached one uh, the first tier with the sewing machines yet. I mean, come on. It's very close, but... Was under the impression that we export a lot of sewing machines already, but we're not because we're constantly capping them out. I really need another um, export trade contract there. Uh, we have two cargo ships. Have some influence. Let's build another one. I really like to have a few more of them in reserve. And really, those poor investors are really, really unhappy right now. Negative 24. Uh, member club and... Yeah, member club will be the first one. There's a church here that I... Yet don't necessarily need any more. I still like to have churches in town though. So I'm going to I'm going to move it a bit further away, right? So we got a block of um, workers here that I'm going to move to just another location of my city. Somewhere over here. That is fine. Right there we have some space still left. People. And then we can move that church over. And then we have space here for a members club. That is then for this whole block there. We might actually even reach the people below that. Some of them. But we don't have any investors there, so it's fine. And then the members club. Going to take some resources there before we can build it. But that's going to lead to the first happiness boost. The second one, of course, is penny file things. Let's actually work on them. And for that, we have Oreo with the Kautchuk. And I've been, I've been waiting for this. Over here, we have that space. Uh, let's just go ahead, make us a road connection. Then we can have some culture plantations here. Um, leading all the way to that area, we might need two warehouses close by. We don't need that beach ever, I don't think so. And even if we need it, then well... Screw me, we'll have to readjust then. And then we just need my, my couch joke. This needs some hundred errors, we have plenty of them. Um, the construction cost is really the most expensive thing about it. Um, everything else is just dirt cheap. Also, it's maintenance. Perfect, and there we have a whole block of couch jokes. I still have access to the beach there, and I also still have access to the gold deposit if I ever need that. Now, one thing that I just need to make sure, couch is very slow in production, right? No, actually it's not, it's one. I thought it was two. All right, it's one, that's... Perfect. My demand in penny file things is five. That means two factories we are going to need, consuming four um, caoutchouc per minute. That means I need eight caoutchouc plantations to make this all work. Eight of them. That's going to be the tricky part. That's going to be expensive. Let's also build. Let's upgrade both of them right away. And then we're going to have four. Four costs me thirty-eight thousand. 
And then another four here for another 38,000. And we would have another four for another factory as well, in case we do need that ever. Let's not forget about a road connection, and this will now work perfect. We just need a trade rod there once more. And since, yeah, the volume will increase over time, I I'm going to add a, a new trade rod to this. And it's going to be a cargo ship, of course, uh, delivering those resources as well. And this can start in Oreo now. Mudlark is waiting for it. And by the time it arrives in Oreo, there will be some couch already waiting for it. Still going to take a while. By the way, it's looking rather chaotic here. So let's just add some of them to the global tab so that we keep our overview here just nice and perfect. There's also some schnapps charter here that I still have active. Even though, shouldn't I have a schnapps trader there? It's this one, right? No, this is fine. Let's keep this one active. Right, that's working. Attention Ship leaving town. Oh, it still has the cotton. Let's just throw this overboard. We're producing way too much cotton anyway. By the way, how much coffee do I have now? I always miss the mark. Really? There was just another ship leaving here with coffee. I'm always waiting for it, but it doesn't seem to be the right moment at all. At least the oil is now coming in from the new world, so we always have a more oil than we need. And yeah, well, I can build the members club now. Let's do this. As expensive as it might be. Um, and of course, close to the member club, let's have a few more investors so we profit from that. Making them a bit happier. At least we have a content population again. Um, and with pe uh, Penny Falklings, it's going to be in a euphoric population. And yeah, lots of farmers over there as well. Uh, 1,500 farmers that we can upgrade at this point. And I would like to do this with as many as possible once more timber comes in as well. Also in preparation for more high advanced people here, let's just pave the roads. Since we have a bit of timber in surplus right now. For the Pennyfile things, we still need a proper factory. Um, I would like to go ahead and have this one somewhere here. So let's get this artisanal kitchen a bit further outside. That is fine. And then we're going to move one of these workers also a bit further away. And with that, we have a bit of space here. Penny Fowl Things is not a pollution industry, right? So it's fine to have it close to my to my people. Um, so I can have one here. Then we got the police station there that I most likely would like to further outside. And hmm, tricky here. This should be possible. Moving this one down. This one down and then this one in. Perfect. This is working too. I think we even have... Nah, that's not going to work out. But... Yeah, there's a fire station missing close by. We can definitely add a fire station in here as well. Let's do this. Let's continue onwards with some upgrading. We got 800 workers. Ah, that's not enough. I would like to have more of them. So let's go ahead and upgrade more farmers. These guys here. That's the marketplace. Might fix it by just upgrading the roads here to the next marketplace. Yeah, very good. This fixes it. And those people are now ready to upgrade. Just need to wait there a few secs. And we can continue here. And over here. Mm, there's still one right here. Ah, and we finally also leveled up and export good, right? That that was long overdue now. So that is the sewing machines now reaching level one, with that being worth 1.2 instead of one, right? So 20% more valuable. That means we can export more of it if we want to, but we're already capping it. I'm also exporting some fur coats here, by the way, for the iron ore, which is fine, really, because we have too many fur coats anyway, and it's also a cheap production. All right, and with that, we should be able now to also add us another export office. Perfect. Right here. And once the timber comes in, we can build it and add one more. Very important, really. Now the timing is right. We have enough coffee, so let's activate this trader here now. Finally, we get all that coffee over. And oil-wise, I might actually need to get a second oil tanker. I thought... I thought so already a long time ago, of course. Let's just do this. We now have a bit more influence to spare. 
Now, I've already added a second ship for the timber, right? Because the volume is just really high. Oh, Kravioto needs a hospital. We don't have a hospital here. We don't. Add one here and one on the other side too. We don't have to deal on Ah, the and there it is. I was expecting it at some point now. Ceasefire is over, of course, and we are at peace. And he only wants 55,000. That's perfect. That right? And that actually leaves us with enough money to purchase a share back from Miss Hunt again. To purchase one share. It's 750,000 at this point, though. Bent is a better value overall, right? But let's go ahead with Miss Hunt there. To share in reward, She's my real enemy, and I want to get those shares. Pain. Make her weaker, because every share we purchase from her um, reduces her monthly Only balance, of course. Also, let's go ahead with another cargo ship there once more. I reckon there's no couch again yet. Oop, there's not. How's the steel situation looking? Fine, but it could be better. Uh, we are going to consume four just with one bicycle factory, right? So we do need at least eight in surplus. That means at least another furnace. That produces four now, once more. Am I boosting them with workforce too? No, we don't. We could even do that a tiny bit. A tiny bit. Really not that much though. But let's rather build another furnace, right? Anyway, <laughs> at some point. All right, with the oil, we are also capped in Vega. Let's upgrade the oil harbor to have a bit more oil in store. And this means we can have now a fourth power plant if I want to. Right now, there's no need for it. It would probably be up here then, so we also get a palace then at some point electrified and the world fair. But I think that's about it when it comes to electricity then. Yep. And yeah, the timber is rolling in. Let's go ahead with some mass upgrading once more of farmers. Also a few more over here then. Down to 600. And yeah. Have those guys here. Down to 400. Down to 400 still. And out of timber once more. More workers going towards this area now. And yeah. We're just going to wait for the next mass upgrading. And we continue onwards then. In beautiful industrial Vega. Stay tuned. <laughs> 